Hey, how are you? Hopefully you, you still recognize me. I'm you from a year ago. And I wanted to do a message talking to you. <clears throat> and I wanted to highlight some things that you might still be going through. And maybe you can be uplifted because you don't seem to take anybody else's advice so maybe you'll take your own you're your own worst enemy dude every time that you don't feel like doing anything every time you procrastinate every time that you feel like you don't want to do something because you don't feel like it's going to succeed or have any chance of succeed you have to remember that never trying is always failing every just like you just remember that time that you the first time you got the guts to ask that girl out how did you tell yourself you told yourself that if I don't ask her out she's already said no it works the same way with everything else in life dude if you don't try you've already failed and you should take that to heart because if you look around you'll see that doing nothing equals nothing you have to push through you have to keep going on and no matter what you're doing in life right now hopefully you're doing it to the best of your ability because you're a good person people might not agree with it people might want to throw stuff in your face people might want to bring up the past but at the end of the day you live with you and you know you're a good person you remember in um, 2010 when you had that epiphany what was that epiphany? You remember it? Yeah, you do. That epiphany was being approachable is more effective than being impressive. What does that mean? What does that mean to you? you? Know what it means to me right now? It means that don't let your ego get in the way. Don't tear down bridges. Don't burn things because you want to seem impressive your ego is one of your biggest flaws and, and at the same time it, I understand where it comes from it comes from being good at certain things and that and you let that certain things define yourself remember when you were a kid and you thought you had a nice truck you to get you get girls and you realized that girls didn't care if you had a nice truck all that money that you sunk into them all that all that money that you sunk into other things it didn't matter Remember that? It approaches every part of life. People don't care about what you own. People care about who you are and what you do. Your, uh, your work ethic, your way of life, your word, these are things that are important. These are things that people actually value you on. How, how confident you can say things and how, how much you show those things. People aren't impressed with devices people aren't impressed with general talents because you, you see it you see the media talk about how you know talents are impressive you know if you play guitar if you juggle if you play piano more people will be attracted to you this is correct in a small sense But just because people are attracted to what, something that you can do doesn't mean it's your defining characteristic. You can play guitar and be an asshole. You can play guitar and be a drug head. You can be Mozart on a piano and be strung out on heroin. These things don't define you. Your personality does. And you have a good personality. I think the most important thing I can say to this, I'm just going to keep it short is that if you're looking at this video you're still alive and that's the most important aspect of life is living I remember a time when I was at this point at this point in time where I'm like what is happening a year from now and I couldn't tell well you know that answer what happened a year from now and you know what the person watching this video will probably watch another video a year from now a year from then just keep living that's all you can do Life is not something that you can dictate or 
prepare and not everything in life is in your control. A vast majority of things in life is not in your control. I remember when I was working 12 hour days, 4 to 5 days a week, hating life. And remember when we seen that guy in that brand new F-150 pull in and you're over here driving your old clunker and you thought like how is he doing it how is he doing that because you felt like you tried your hardest and everything you felt like you went above and beyond you were beating the odds a person your size shouldn't be doing what he's doing and then two years later you were making triple your amount of money life is not certain you shouldn't act as life is certain you can't control a large amount of what happens to you you can have an influence on it you can you can you can have goals and work towards them but life is not written in stone you could be a millionaire and you can get in a car wreck too you could be a five star general and get in a car wreck just live that's the best advice I have to you keep living because at this point you realize that it finds a way life finds a way I know it's corny and it's a Jurassic Park line but it does Stop listening to yourself, <laughs> which is kind of defeats the purpose of this video.